Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land 2 with Mioxfu. And... Well, last time we took care of a very boring level. Anyway, the way to the open door! I'm gonna be a little lighter on my voice because... I just recorded a bunch of... Whoa! Hello there, Mr. Mouse. Whoa, hello there, Mr. Mouse number two. I just recorded a bunch of Super Mario before this, and then... I've already recorded two episodes of this this session, so... I'm just going to be recording as much as I can tonight, because, I mean, nobody's home right now. <gasps> we could finish it right now. Well, and we still got to get the treasure, but... Die, you. Um, no, everybody's out right now, so... Oh. Yeah, I'm not that stupid. Whoa. 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 Anyway, everybody's, everybody's out right now, so I'm taking advantage of the fact that I can record in peace. Ooh. Hello there, Mr. Snail. Haven't seen you in a while. Um... Yeah, I'm taking a advantage of the fact that I can just record in peace right now. And... Well, I just don't want my voice to go. Who does? I mean, come on. Don't be crazy, guys. Why would you ever want your voice to go out on you? Huh, I've never actually seen those guys when you just uh, hit them, because usually if you hit them at all, you get hurt. Haha. -ha. Guess we're going to door number four. What? Do we have to go down that way in order to open it up? I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's some sort of switch that we had- that we... ended up triggering by doing that. Ah! Just... Hate you guys. I hate you guys. I hate you guys. I hate so many of the enemies in this game. It's not my fault, they're well done. To be challenging enemies. Even though they're not, not really challenging. Like this part right here isn't really challenging, I'm just being stupid about it. See? See? Just being stupid about it. Roll my eyes. You guys can't see that, but I just threw up my arms and rolled my eyes. Alright, tell me this opens it up. Tell me this opens it up. No! What am I supposed to do? Unless, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's right, okay. I'm an idiot. I forgot it did that. You know what? Let's do this the easy way. Let's just kill all of the guys in our way and then go back and unzombify. Oh look, that's what we have to do anyway. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we just have to go through. Looks like it. I like these though. Because I mean, you never really get to use Zombie Wario for this purpose, except for in these levels. So, it's fun. Oh, man, I've been watching so much Weekenders. I don't know if any of you guys watched that show when you were... Not really kids, but, like, pre-teens, I guess. I don't know, I was around 12 when it came out, and Tino, Lore, Trish, and Carver were all 12, so... It was kind of cool to actually be watching a show meant for my age. As opposed to, like, watching M.A.S.H. or Star Trek. Yes, I grew up on M.A.S.H. and Star Trek. And it was great. <laughs> um... But no, I, ju I just really love that show. I don't know, I've been watching it a lot because I was actually able to find a copy. Um, because they never actually released a DVD version. 
of Weekenders. It was one of those shows that Disney did really, really well, along with, like, Pepper Ann and Recess and all those. It was just a really fun show that didn't... Ooh, it, a wine glass with a little wine left over. Sounds like we can have a party. Um, it was just one of those shows that Disney did really well without turning it into, like, the whole after-school special. Like, you really wonder, like, where some of the writers that they had during the 90s went, because they made such some of the coolest shows. Because it was right after the period where Nick had pretty much dried up with its ideas. Like, all of its stuff was going strong. Like, what, what'd they have? Like, uh... It was mostly after, like, Nick had lost, um, Zim and stuff like that, that Disney really started with the, with the good stuff, because, I don't know, Nick, Nick lost one of its best shows, and Disney was there to take up the slack, surprisingly. Like, it's really surprising that they were able to come up with good shows, because you think... Disney now is so such a bad, bad show company. At least I think. Especially because they've got almost no animated shows left either. At least no good ones. I mean, Nick is kind of taking it back with like Phineas and Ferb and stuff like that, but they don't. They 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 still don't have the huge kickoff that. It, Everybody that everybody loved about Nick and stuff. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna finish the level now. End my rant. But no, Weekenders was one of those shows that was just a really, really good show. And I can't really tell you why, because it was just a group of four preteens doing like things over the weekend, learning a lesson about friendship or themselves or something like that. Um, if anything, it was a lot like My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Um, play, of course. Except not aimed at, li at five-year-old girls, aimed at 12-year-old boys and girls. I mean, it's, it's still good now, because Tina was the really snarky... The really snarky kid. Alright, it's four. Uh, Carver was the kid obsessed with being cool, Tish was the smart one, Lore was the sports one, but they weren't just their types. They were all, all four of them were just really good people as well. I don't know, it was just really fun. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Wario Land 2 with Mioxfu. Take it easy.